I think there comes a time in every plant owner's life where they say to themselves, wow, I'd really like to be exponentially more stressed about this hobby. And shortly thereafter, they decide to import plants for the first time. That's where I'm currently at in my journey. I imported like 20 plants from Ecuador, okay? Um, they're slowly dying in my home as we speak, and I will show them to you thusly. If I've learned anything, it's that I know nothing at all about plants. <laughs> I am questioning everything I've ever known to be true about plants. Everybody has a different opinion about how, what to do with an import. Here's the situation, okay? If you're not if you do, if you're not putting yourself through this trauma, when plants are coming from a place like Ecuador to a place like barren wasteland Canada, they're taken from this beautiful, steamy, hot climate, extra humid and they're coming to freezing, cold, dry Canada. They don't like it very much. And a lot of the times, almost all the time, the soil is taken off, they put moss around the roots, they ship it or truck it or do whatever the hell. So the plants are in darkness, awaiting their destiny only to find out that again, it is Canada. And a lot of people have different opinions about what you should do when you get them home. Some people like to leave the plant in water some people like to put them directly into moss or leca or perlite or whatever it may be. Some people put them into bins and like tape the bins shut so that it's, you know, keeps all the humidity in there kind of thing. I thought to myself, how about I just set them up for complete disaster? I really didn't want to put them in bins. I don't know why I was so reluctant to this. I did put them in bins for a day which also what a lot of people recommend is not like continually changing things around. And that's what I did, that's what I did. I just continually changed the amount of humidity I was pumping into the room. I <laughs> took, put them in moss, took the moss off and looked at the roots, cut some roots off, put the moss back on, took the moss off again, cut some more roots. Like I just really fucking did whatever the hell I wanted, um, which is what I wanted to do because I don't like to follow the rules. Sue me. So I took most of the plants, put them in a bin at first. Like I got a, a couple seedlings. I put all the seedlings in a bin with like a bed of moss and then um, kind of planted them in the moss a little bit and left them in the bin for actually probably three days for those ones. And then the larger ones, I put them into moss in glass containers primarily and then put them into bins. I then, I'm, I'm in my little office bathroom right now and this is like a south facing window it gets really warm in this room um and it's like a fairly it's a bathroom so it's fairly small um so i just like pumped a humidifier at 90 percent, and it was <laughs> i'll add a photo it's misty in here like you couldn't see your own reflection in the mirror at some points it was very intense and inside the boxes inside the little tubs it, there was normally like you'd see humidity on the kind of side of the thing. If anything, it seemed to me that it was less humid in the bins than it was in this room. And I was like, I, I think I'm just gonna put them in the room, which to me, I don't know why I feel like that's easier. I just do. So I took them out of the bin and just put them all on my counters. And now I'm just gonna show you them all right here and tell you how they're doing. It's been a week and two days and this is this is where we're at so this is uh my anthurium recabum also they were molding in the bins and they haven't they've been molding they all there's a few that will get like a little tiny bit of mold at the very top um but other than that most of them aren't molding anyways this is my anthurium recabum this one um what i did with a lot of these plants is I looked up like what they look like mature um, because so often like you're gonna be getting younger plants and a lot of them can look sort of similar when they're younger, but they're so different when they're bigger. So I looked up a lot of these mature and this one when it's mature is just like this really beautiful pillowy big leaf. Um, and this one's doing great, honestly. It hasn't lost any leaves from what I recall. I mean, it's a little tippy in here because I need to put some more moss in. Stop some more moss in there, you're fine. Okay, this was a plant that was one of my wish list plants and I've wanted it for so long and I was so excited. So I bought two seedlings because I was like, oh God, like I'm gonna fuck it up. And everyone talks about this plant. I saw someone specifically on this like Facebook group I'm part of. They were like, never stop holding your breath. Like it's gonna lose all of its leaves, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh fuck. Um, so knowing that again, I don't often play by the rules. I was like, oh God, I should probably get two in case I really fuck up. This plant is like one of the few that like 
well actually they're all kind of doing fine but like this one really looks so good in comparison to a lot of the other ones in here and I just wasn't prepared for that but again maybe I'll just never stop holding my breath um, but that is my Queen Anne Therium. So this, if you've never seen this plant, they just get the longest, most incredible, like dark velvety leaves. They're beautiful. So I got two little seedlings of this one and they're both hanging in there. Um, one of them has lost one leaf, but otherwise everything's looking good. This plant, I honestly feel like I could have just fucking stuck into my living room and it would have been like, I. Thank you, yeah, I would like this. Um, this is my Anthurium vichii. I gave up on trying to pronounce plants correctly. I just don't even care at this point. This thing is, wow, what a beauty queen. Look at it, it looks great. It hasn't lost a leaf either. Um, it's just been chilling, frankly, and it doesn't care about anything at all. This is my Anthurium decepiens. It's also looking pretty good. I don't think it's lost any leaves from what I recall. Um, I can't remember really why I bought this one. It's kind of just whatever for me, but I don't know. Maybe it looks really cool when it's mature or something, or maybe I just was like a little trigger happy when I was ordering, I can't recall. Anyways, it's doing fun. Then I have a Philodendron Plowmanii. These look really cool when they get mature too. Um, this one I also don't think has lost any leaves. It has a new leaf coming in, which is like looking a little rough. Like it has some kind of like little damage on the inside and stuff. Um, but for the most part, it's doing fine. This leaf, I think maybe lost. To the war and I was surprised by this one because the leaves are quite thin so I was like that looks like it <laughs> doesn't got a lot of fight left in it but um it surprised me it's doing fine <laughs> this hideous twig <laughs> is my philodendron verrucosum verrucosum I think it had two leaves when I got it that were like already like just fuck this life that I'm living right now. Um, it has this new leaf coming out that's pre-browned. Um, so I don't think it's gonna be like a real cute leaf by any means. I don't know what to tell you here, okay? On my invoice, this was the only plant that they left any instructions about. They said, to leave it standing in water for a few weeks. And I was like, that seems crazy. Um, and this one did have rot. So I didn't follow those directions because I was like, I just, it's, it's already rotting <laughs> in its roots. And then I'm just supposed to leave it in water. Like, this is crazy. But they were like, it bounces back quickly, don't worry. Um, so we'll see. I thought this was gonna die for sure. I'm still not convinced. It just looked kind of yellowy. Maybe this is just the color it is, I don't know. This is a philodendron columbia um and every single one of the leaves maybe it's just the color it is i don't know man every single one of the leaves looked kind of yellowy and they're quite thin as well so i was like this one's a goner but i don't know if it is a goner okay this is one plant that i'm just not sure what to believe a lot of these things it's like you try to google about it and google's like mm. I don't know. And I feel like so often with plant things, you basically have to trial and error because there's no other option. <laughs> because there's either so little information online or there's so much conflicting information online or it feels like a lot of blogs just like use the same information from the same place, but it's like, but is this personal experience? I just don't know. Anyways, this is a um, philodendron fricatum. I really, love the leaf so much like it is just what a beautiful beautiful time allegedly these plants only survive in 100 percent humidity which will obviously not be happening in my household um and it currently isn't happening in this household um this one seems to i know it's like giving droop right now it seems to be doing okay all things considered um it has like a little friend that also apparently only exists in 100% humidity and that was very true for that other plant. This one I still feel like maybe there's a chance I could harden it off and it could be okay. Because the other one, which I'll show you, I was like that leaf is so cool but like if I kill this one whatever because I have this one and it's kind of similar, not really, um, but you know whatever but I don't know if either of them are gonna live, we'll see. Um, it does have a new little new leaf coming that is also coming out brown but I don't know.
I think it could bounce back. It has some okay roots, although this one looks like it's possibly rotting and I'm gonna have to take another peek at it, but that's fine. Okay, this was another major wishlist plant that I also got seedlings of. These are not very small seedlings. These are kind of gigantic seedlings, but I as well got two of these because I just, this is my first time importing. I was really unsure. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I could at least have one live, you know? Um, so I got two of these. These are the Anthurium luxurians and this plant is like arguably one of the most beautiful plants on the planet, I feel like. Even if you don't like plants, I feel like how could you look at this photo and be like, eh. Um, I don't know, I just think it's so stunning. Um, so I got two little seedlings and they're both doing fine. One of them has lost one leaf um, and then this looks like this leaf will probably die off um, and I'll clip it back. But otherwise the roots on these and the roots on the um, queen anthuriums are both, like they all are like perfect. <laughs> like most of the roots on most of these plants came in a little mushy, like a little bit of rot kind of thing that we had to cut back. Some of them had like almost, well, two of them, I had to cut all of the roots off. Um, so now they're just like wet sticks <sighs> pretending to be plants. But yeah, these like have like tons of roots. They're super healthy. Like I just don't know what to, I don't know anything again. I don't know what's going on. I am not an orchid person in general. Um, I don't like that they're hideous leaves for the majority of time. And then they once in a while bloom for a millisecond and you're like, well, that was fun. Like, I love the blooms of orchids. I love how many different types of like crazy cool orchids there are. I just wish that it bloomed more often and also wasn't disgusting when it wasn't blooming. No shade to people that love orchids like my mom. My mom is such an orchid person. Um, she ordered some plants with me as well on this um, journey and she bought mostly orchids. One of the orchids that she bought, I was like, well, that's pretty fucking cool. So maybe I'll get one orchid. So I did, I got a Bulbophyllum medusae. It's, it's, um, it's, it's limp biscuit. Um, it's not having the best time right now. It's had some little leaves rot off. It does have some root rot, quite a bit of root rot actually. But my mom was like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, just don't worry. So I'm just not worrying and we'll see if it comes back around. But the bloom is arguably extremely cool. So maybe it'll be worth it one day, 10 years from now when it blooms and we can all say hurrah. This <laughs> has a new leaf. So take that. Okay. This is, um, a philodendron, uh, Ruba juvenile, but it's El Choco Red, El Choco Red, whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of people have said that this is like the coolest plant they own. Actually, I think I saw one person say that and then I was like, that sounds legit. So um, I added it to my order. It does not really enjoy its time here yet, but eventually I'm sure it will. That's all I have to say about it. It's just a little, just a little droopy. Get some sunlight. Everything's gonna be fine. This is my mom's, but here's another twig for your viewing pleasure. This absolute stunner, wow. Oh my God. This is an Anthurium Regal. Um, I added this to my order last second and I'm so glad it di I did because like what a dream. And this is just like, I took it out of the packaging. It was like, hello, Starshine. It was in such a good mood. It stayed in such a good mood. I don't feel like knock on wood, it's gonna lose any leaves. I don't know. Things are looking pretty good so far. This is probably one of my favorite plants to look at right this second. This one, ugh. A little little rough. This is an Anthurium queermelans. I don't know. It it has potential. I think it did have a third leaf that I cut off. I can't really recall. It's all a blur. Everything's kind of just blending together at this point. I also got a philodendron luxuriance. It's also not enjoying its time. It looks quite similar to this one. <laughs> They look very close. I, I'll be interested to see if and when these bounce back, if I still feel like they're so similar. Um, because when I unpackaged them, I was thinking to myself like, okay, I probably didn't need both of those, but like, again, it just all happened so fast. Then I got the Philodendron Gloriosum, arguably also kind of looks similar to those last two. This one's like kind of in-betweeny. Like it's not, 
really hating its life entirely. It's not like absolutely in love with this place. Then I got two Monsteras. I got a Monstera Penati Partita. Um, this one, humble appearance here, but I feel like it looks very cool when it gets more mature. So this one for sure, I'm gonna put on a moss pole. Um, and I'm hoping I'll get some nice big mature leaves out of it. It did have quite a bit of rot, like it looks pretty happy here, but <laughs> under just the surface, um, it's not looking so great, but I think it'll be okay, probably, maybe, I don't know. <sighs> I debated adding this to my order. I feel like it's something that so many people see and they want it because it's like, ooh, that's cool and kind of different and it's so expensive online that you're like, Oh, then it must be great. But like arguably when we really look at it, it's kind of an ugly plant. Monstera obliqua, Peru. Okay? Like, oh God, I just don't know how to feel. Like it is a cool plant, but also it's disgusting. What is wrong with this thing? It can't sustain its own life. It can't withstand its own structure. So all the fenestrations, because it's basically only fenestrations, a lot of them are just breaking apart because it's like, I'm so withered and thin. I just don't even know what to do. The roots on this one are okay. I think it had a little bit of rot if I recall, um, but for the most part, it's doing okay. I have an inkling that this is a plant that will really show signs of lack of humidity. Here's the thing. I'm just not a, hum I'm not a humid person. Dewy maybe, humid no. I don't I don't like to, I just like my plants to adapt to me, not the other way around. You know what I mean? Like fine with this whole import situation, fine, I'll run a humidifier for you. But like in general, it's like, I don't want to keep a humid home. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to keep it like as humid as I want it to be and not a little bit more humid than that. Like, so I do like to have my plants harden off to live the fast lane, lifestyle that I'm living here. So we'll see how this one looks down the road. It may never look this good again. I, again, is this a good looking plant? I don't know. Then I have an Anthurium Lapoenum. Um, this one's, I can't decide how I feel about this one. Like I felt like it looked really cool online. I saw it in person and I was like, mm, I don't know. And every day I feel different about it when I walk in. Some days it looks really happy. Some days it looks really sad and Today it's kind of somewhere in between. It's fine. What do you think? I don't know. Like I like this kind of, I don't know. It kind of looks like kale. <laughs> it kind of looks like tropical kale, you know? This is a Ceratostema Velosa. We got this one at the show because we just picked it up and we were like, damn, that's a fucking cool plant. It's, I don't know, I love this thing and it seems to be doing okay. It had the most bizarre roots I've ever seen in my life. Like they were super wiry and like copper colored. Um, they were very odd, but anyways, I'm hoping that this plant does fine. It looks very cool when it gets bigger. Um, that's it. Now, ugh, it stinks in here. I was very excited to see this plant in person. I'm glad, if nothing else, I'm glad I did get to see it in person because it's extremely cool. It, it, its roots immediately rotted off. I was talking to, um, I have like a little plant discord and I was talking to someone on this plant discord and she was like, oh yeah, that one might have like a rough time. And she was very right. <laughs> it's had a rough time. Um, and this is the other plant that, ex when I was looking at it online afterwards, it was saying that like this plant is basically not suitable to be a house plant because it has to be in such high humidity that like otherwise it's just not gonna happen. Um, so yeah, its roots immediately rotted, its leaves all dropped, but one um, that should probably just be cut off, but I just am leaving it for now because I wanna look at it bi-weekly. Is that a crime? Um, <clears throat> if anything, if I can get the roots to grow back on this. I might put it in like a terrarium because I do want to view it, but jury's out whether or not we're gonna be able to save this one. Oh, it's, it's, it's leaf is just rotting. So that's too bad. There's just mold on its actual leaf. Anyways, this is called a philodendron lin Hannon EI. Your guess is as good as mine on that pronunciation. Such a cool, stop focusing on my face, focus on this. Focus here, focus here. The texture of this leaf is like 
the coolest. It's just, it hates it here. It wishes it had not been ripped from its, oh, there's another little leaf in there. Everything's gonna be okay. I cut off the moldy part and left the rest just for shits and gigs. I don't know, maybe it can take up a little sunshine through there or something. Anyways, and the new leaf looks perfectly fine. No roots, but a leaf still counts. And then I also got this very sad melanocrysum that um, all the roots rotted off as well. I'll be honest, in, from the time that I pre-ordered this to now, these have been popping up in nurseries around me for very similar prices. So I did buy one. <laughs> I bought a tiny little one um, that I just stuck on a moss pole right away. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna keep this one as an experiment because I haven't grown from wet stick before. Um, so I'll see whether or not I can get it to bounce back, in which case that'd be really cool and just like fun to mess around with. Um, but if it doesn't, I don't care. No, no. It's not like I don't care about you, but it's like I don't. It's, the stakes are low, okay? So anyways, but it has like a lot of little points that it could come out of. And if nothing else, like I could always just like pop it in water and try to get some little roots going that way. That's all my little planties that I got. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Well, I have so much more I could say about that. I could talk about it for an eternity really. Um, but I need to get the humidity back on in this room because it's slowly dropping by the second and these plants wanna die. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Thanks for hanging out and chit-chatting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.